Hi, this is Barbara from 2DigitalGypsies.com. Now that we're getting ready to move overseas, I finally had to tackle a project I've wanted to get to for so many years, and that's dealing with all of our photos and other memorabilia that we've been collecting over the years. I had boxes and boxes and boxes of it. I had photos of my three children, of my own early years, my husband's early years, and all of my parents' photos of myself and my sister and of us growing up, and then their extended families. Uh, plus, my parents and myself had also kept a lot of different mementos of our early years. I had even tried uh, a couple of years ago to move all the boxes into a spare room, thinking I'd finally be able to get it organized, but I found myself getting so overwhelmed by the project that I never really completed it and it just sat in that room. So this time I had to make a plan that would work because they're moving overseas and there was no way I could deal with all these boxes of things. So I decided to try and reduce it to photos and mementos that were the best reminders of particular time periods and get rid of the ones that weren't. I wanted to aim for saving 10 to 20% of the different things. I also wanted to get rid of pictures of people that I didn't know who they were and also get rid of pictures of places unless they were something that were very special to me like the house I grew up in because I realized those pictures of different places just didn't have the same meaning to me. So first I would open a box and just start sorting through it. If I found a photo album I would take the pictures out and throw away the ones that weren't the best of that time period and write the name of the person and the date on the back of each photo I was saving. And then I started sorting them into categories. One for each of my three children, one for me, my husband, family pictures of me and my husband and our three boys, my mom, my father and their extended families and my husband's family, and I put all of these into hanging folders. I threw away lots of bags of photos. It was very emotional, so I had to get them out of the house as soon as I finished. So I had to have my husband help throw those out into the trash can so I just wouldn't even think about them anymore. Then I would take a folder full of pictures, say of my oldest son, and start sorting them by years or stages of his life. I would put pictures um, on different uh, pieces of colored paper on the floor, which I'd named with different years or stages and then just take a stack of pictures and start sorting them into the right uh, category. After doing this I went through each of the stacks and found more to call and throw away such as duplicates or ones that weren't very good or if I had too many of a particular time period and so that I would end up with the best representative photos of each person for each particular year or stage of the life. And then I would take all of the photos along with the pieces of paper that indicated what uh, year they were from and put them in a special acid-free box. I also sorted through all the special mementos like diplomas, special awards, pictures or paintings that had been done and sorted those by person. And then I took all of the special mementos of one person plus the acid free box of their photos and put them into another container so that I ended up with a total of six boxes. I had one box for each one of my three children, one for myself, one for my husband that also included his family, and one for my parents and their extended families. My long-term goal is to scan these photos, but for now they'll be stored in these six boxes when we go abroad. I labeled each of the boxes on the outside so that I can locate easily uh, something special when I need it, such as if a special occasion comes along, like a marriage or a graduation, and I need to locate the photos. It was a huge relief to accomplish this task. It's been hanging over me literally for years, and to go from where I had about 18 large tote boxes that were all a big mess of all kinds of things, down to these six nicely organized boxes, 
uh, feels now like I'm ready to move abroad. If you'd like to learn more about how we're getting ready to move abroad and decluttering our home, please visit our blog at twodigitalgypsies.com. And if you like this video, please click the thumbs up on the video page.